Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Guys, I'm just so happy. Everything is going fantastic right now. Thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your day to join me right now. And make sure to like the video right away, guys. I don't really care about likes, but YouTube certainly does. Every time you like our video, we get way more visibility than we would normally get. Help support the channel. So if you like watching the videos, make sure to like this one today. And we've got some absolutely amazing stories to go over today guys. Alex Choi landing a plane. Yes, we have video of that. Omi and a Hellcat's raid story goes live on CBS. A pretty big development in that. And we've got a bunch of other fantastic updates from some of your favorite creators, guys. Get ready, let's go. All right, so let's talk about our first amazing story. Now this is something that I had no idea had happened until I happened to be perusing through Instagram just the other day. Obviously, you probably know who Alex Choi is at this point. Crazy car build, V3 user unicorn, all that kind of jazz, the McLaren, the Teslas. You've heard a lot about him over the past year in particular. And we've got kind of a whopper of a story for you today concerning him. So Alex Choi actually uploaded footage of him taking off and landing a plane on his first solo flight. A uh, very cool thing. I'm so glad that we have the video to be able to show you guys one of our sort of beloved supercar creators doing something out of left field for the most part. I don't think any of us knew that Alex Choi could land a plane in particular. So I'm I'm going to show you the video right now. Here we go. Well, there you have it, guys. It's always amazing to see our supercar community creators uh, showcasing some of their other sides and talents and abilities. Uh, and, and obviously, I don't think a lot of us knew that Alex Choi was a, sort of an accomplished aviator in his own right, doing his first solo flight. So a very cool thing. If you guys enjoyed this story and you want me to include more of our supercar creators doing uh, things kind of outside of the supercar realm, make sure to let me know in the comments below. But I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you guys today. All right, into our next story. All right, guys, our next one is a pretty big one. So uh, the CBS affiliate in Philadelphia is going to be airing the story about Omi and Hellcat's raid and all the subsequent aftermath that occurred. Now originally that story was supposed to go live this morning. We were actually going to have the entire tape for you but uh, all we have right now is sort of a promo for the footage that's going to be coming up that I'll show you right now. You know, I was a multi-millionaire a week ago, and now I'm down to nothing. I just saw a loophole, I see the console on it, they told me it wasn't illegal, and I went for it. So a big thanks to the person who actually recorded that on their television screen. So we at least had some part of the interview to show you. I imagine that this is going to come in the next day or so. The reporter that did the interview with Omi uh, said it was going to be coming very soon. I follow her on Facebook. So as soon as that comes up, I'll make sure to direct the entire thing to you. Uh, I think this is going to be a really interesting interview because it's going to have Omi in a position, obviously still next to his lawyer. Uh, we confirmed that the person standing next to him in the footage uh, is his lawyer helping him sort of not say anything that would you know, incriminate him further than he already is. Uh, but I think it's going to be really interesting to have a reporter kind of, you know, dive into the issues about what occurred. And I'm hoping that the reporter gets to the bottom of some of the questions that have sort of plagued the community a little bit. So uh, make sure to watch out for that, guys. I'm sure Omi will provide a link to it on his Instagram account. He's been showcasing a couple screenshots from this ever since the original promo footage came out. So I'm certainly excited to watch the first interview since the event happened. And we'll make sure to bring the information to you guys as soon as we get it. Donut Media is next guys with a really fantastic video on uh, I guess why everyone registers their car in Montana. Now some of you guys might already know the answer to this. I actually did a video a long long time ago about why I also considered doing it and why I ended up not doing it. But if you want to know why people do it in Montana, Donut Media has probably one of the better videos that's ever been done in the automotive community that I've seen. So make sure to go check it out guys. We'll have a link to their channel in the description below. It's very cool to have Donut Media in our community providing such amazing content. They get 
gets major awards like at the Streamy Awards. So congratulations again to them and uh, make sure to watch their latest video on Montana. Very interesting stuff. Next guys, we have Daily Driven Exotics who straight piped the Ferrari F12 that they have. And I gotta tell you, uh, Ferrari F12s that have straight pipes on it are just absolutely insane. Make sure to go check this one out. Uh, a very cool video. Most of the cool action is at the very end of the video if you just wanna hear what it sounds like. I'm sure we'll have a lot of other videos showcasing that very soon. Make sure to check it out. Link in the description below. Adam LZ is next doing a full tour of all of the cars that he owns. I certainly had no idea that Adam LZ had so many cars, but make sure to go check it out, guys. He got everything from the, the newer supercars to some of the older classics. Very, very cool video. I had no clue how many cars he had completely. So make sure to go check it out, guys. Link in the description below for that one as well. Shmi is next on our docket, guys. Uh, the Senna in Shmi's life is back. He actually gets to be around for some of the final testing phases of getting his car back on the road after the unfortunate incident that he had happen on the highway where a truck rammed into the side of it. And because, you know, Senna's are such rare cars, there's no sort of spare parts on the side just waiting. Everything has to be custom made for that Senna when they're getting it repaired. So uh, congrats to Shmi having the Senna back on the road. I'm excited to see everything that car has to offer through Shmi's eyes. So VinWiki has a pretty great story out, guys. It actually shows some guys who kind of messed with Tesla, trolled them a little bit by creating a fake Cybertruck and sort of bringing it to one of the Tesla facilities to kind of hand it off. So pretty funny stuff, entertaining from VinWiki. Like always, guys, make sure to go check it out. And last but not least today, guys, is Doug Demuro reviewing the Mercedes AMG 6x6 truck. It doesn't get any crazier than this. These are these are worth well in excess of a million dollars. Uh, and Doug Demuro going over it is one of my favorite videos he's done in a long, long time. Make sure to go check that out, guys. It is truly a spectacle to see this car in action. And that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We're going to be doing some big giveaways here at 170,000 subscribers. And I imagine we're going to reach that just about any day now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you haven't. And we'll catch you guys probably on Thursday. Although I got to tell you, I'm probably going to be a little bit distracted with uh, Star Wars 9 coming out. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a huge like kind of anything with that genre is sort of my, my bag. So I might be a little bit distracted that day, but I'll get the news done like always. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. And uh, that's all I got. Bye.